This is one of the things that if you don't do, Jesus said that God won't forgive you. We're gonna be talking about that here on this video. Stick around to the end. You're gonna learn a lot about God, get closer to God. Let's get started. I'm here with my friend, Zach. Zach, say hi. He's in from California. Father God, I pray for this video. Lord God, I pray you'd speak to everybody watching. In Jesus' name, amen. Did a butterfly just hit my head? Oh no, oh, I hope a it did. Oh my gosh, it's a dragonfly. <laughs> It was right on your phone. Now the dog's a <laughs> That's so funny. Jack ran away from me. Okay, I don't promote saying, oh my gosh, Lord, forgive me. Amen, in Jesus' name. Well, it's not to sin, but I don't like to say anything close to a cuss word. Also, Amen. I did cuss today, guys. I shouldn't have cussed. I said the A word. That was really bad. You did? When today, was that? Yeah, I repented. Yeah, some people say, Gabe, is it wrong to cuss? It, it, it is. I would say it, it is. is. But, you know, because we want to be a good witness to the Lord, you know? But also, it's an example that Gabe's not perfect. Amen. I'm know? not perfect. Wow, that was really funny. Okay, I'm not going to edit that out. I'm just going to keep going. Okay, back to what Jesus said. Thankfully, uh, if you cuss, Jesus will forgive you. But Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 14, he said, If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you don't forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. When he was talking, he was talking to these Pharisees and Sadducees that were very hypocritical. They thought so much of themselves. They thought they had the front seats and they would wear the nice clothes and they would talk about them as if they were themselves about as if they were higher than everyone else. They would talk about the common people. They talk about the normal people as if they were far, far further from God. But then the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were close to God. You see, it was all cap. It was all right. ungenuine stuff. And so when Jesus said that, he was talking to them and he said, how do you expect God to forgive you if you can't even forgive other men? And when people would commit a sin, we know that there was one woman who was caught in the act of adultery. They wanted to even stone her. And when they would want to stone her, they thought them themselves that they were so high and mighty until Jesus said that those who is uh, without sin be the first one to cast a stone. And the Bible says each one of them um, would, would walk away. And so what we learn from this, what the truth about all the, these things are is, does God forgive us? Yes, he does. But not only does he forgive us, but he expects us to treat others like he treats us. How hypocritical is it of us to receive God's forgiveness, to receive God's salvation, and then go out and hold others' wrongs against them? Right. And there's a reason why God tells us this. And it's because when we don't forgive people, when we hold on to things, mm. the only people that it's really holding in change is ourselves. Yeah. It's, it's allowing us to relive what they did to us. That's how so they true. Us. Well, that's a really good point. We're right. really, yeah, keep going with that. Yeah, but when we forgive them, it, he sets us free from that because we're able to realize that even though they've caused us so much hurt, the love that, that the Lord gives us and what he, the hope he gives us surpasses that. So we don't need to hold on to that anymore. We're really not even forgiving ourselves. When you don't forgive others, you're choosing not to forgive yourself. And if you've been struggling with bitterness or maybe you're questioning whether you've done this throughout your life and you're like, dang Gabe, I really don't want to have that in my life. I need God to forgive me. You realize how much wrongs you've done. You realize the changes you need to make in your life. You'll show kindness and mercy to those around you. You know, you'll criticize other people for things they've done and then you actually think about it and you're like, dang, maybe I've done that too. I can't tell you how many times I've been like writing this devotional I'm currently writing or talking to someone else about God. And then I think to myself, I'm like, dang, I need to preach to myself. I need to look myself in the mirror and tell myself these same things because I go out and do all these dumb things. You know, like sometimes I'll have friends that will talk to a lot of girls and I'm like, yo, what are you doing talking to all these girls? Like you need to stay focused on God, you know, wait for your time, you know, wait for your time of marriage because God has the one for you, blah, blah, blah. And I say all these good things. And then here I am going out. I'm like, oh, where's that blonde girl at? Like, like, I oh, I, <laughs> so see, I'm really just exposing myself throughout this video. So that's what you need to realize about yourself though. Cause in life, it's so easy to figure out, oh, this person has this thing in their eye. This person has this thing going wrong for them. This person has done all these wrong things when ultimately you need to look at yourself in the mirror and you need to believe for God to forgive you. You need to ask God to forgive you. And then once you receive God's forgiveness, oh my gosh, these, bugs these are cicadas wild. are like, amen. <laughs> oh Lord, sorry. I have a repentance thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and these, these, cic <laughs> these cicadas are, where did I just step cicadas. on? It's like, it's a snake. Cicadas. It's like, it's a snake. This wildlife is just wild. <laughs> Alligator. Back to my point, you need to realize that God has forgiven you. And when you realize how much God has forgiven you, you'll choose to love others around you because that is this love that God is, has now given us. So if you're holding any unforgiveness or if you're holding any bitterness, this video didn't show up on your recommendation pages by accident. God wants to speak this to you right now. He wants to remind you to forgive others. You say, Gabe, how could I forgive them? They've done so much wrong. Gabe, how could I release that forgiveness when I know that of all the wrongs they've done me. And they'll say, Gabe, you know, some people will say, well, I can forgive, but I'll never forget. Well, actually the Bible says that not only does God forgive us, but yet he also forgets it. Uh, the Bible says in Hebrews that their sins and iniquities I will remember no longer. The way you, you forgive is not by feeling like you forgive someone. 
The way you forgive is not by like just feeling good about that person. Instead, you forgive by faith. Say those three words with me. Forgive by faith. Forgive by faith. And the way to forgive by faith is to believe it in your heart and speak it with your mouth. And you're believing in your speaking, not based on your feelings, but based on the blood of Jesus. Say that with me. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. You see, the blood of Jesus was shed on the cross for you, not because you were something good or not because you earned it, but because God loves you. And so you need to share that same love of the blood of Jesus to others, not because they earn it and not because they deserve it. So think about people in your life right now that maybe you're angry at, maybe you think they're weird or that you think they've done things wrong or you don't wanna hang out with them. I'm, being, I'm getting convicted myself right now of something that I've made a mistake in and I'm gonna repent with you guys. I want all you guys just repent with me because the reality is none of us are perfect. We all say stupid things, we've all criticized each other that we need to repent of right now because you don't want something being held against you. And I'm not telling you this, that like you're gonna go to hell uh, because you've been judging someone else, but I will tell you this, when you judge someone, you open a door for the devil to get into your life. And I don't want you guys to open a door to the devil. So wherever you are, just uh, we're gonna repent together. And I just challenge you guys, just say these words after me. Father, Father, right now, right now, I repent. I repent. Of judging others. Of judging others. Holding unforgiveness. Holding unforgiveness. Bitterness. Bitterness. I repent. I repent. I judge myself. I judge myself. I look myself. I look myself. In the mirror. In the mirror. And I realize. And I realize. I need your help. I need your help. I need your grace. I need your grace. Your mercy. Your mercy. Your love. Your love. Even though I don't deserve it. Even though I don't deserve it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I believe. I believe. I receive. I receive. Your forgiveness. Your forgiveness. And right now. Right now. I choose. I choose. To forgive others. To forgive others. I choose. I choose. To love others. To love others. To show grace. To show grace. And mercy. And mercy. And kindness. And kindness. To others. To others. Help me. Help me. Every day. Every day. To live a humble life. To live a humble life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Now, guys, it's really important as you walk day to day, always be willing to look at yourself and see what you can change. When friends point things out in you or let's say a friend does say something about you. Instead of saying, you can't judge me, don't judge me. Remember, this message is only for one person, you. So don't send this video to one of your friends that has judged you and then try to use this video as a way to get people not to <laughs> criticize you or condemn you. Don't do that. Anyways, That's not the point of this video. Not the point of this video. The point of this video is that you change. Stop living life trying to get others to change or trying to get others to change their personalities. You change to be more like Christ and stop worrying about it. Ain't nobody got time for worrying about other people, okay? Mm -hmm. You ain't got time for that, honey boo boo. Instead, love others. So if somebody does say something about you, criticizing you or condemning you, don't let it get to you. Zach said something, you know, you, he said, Gabe, you just, you're not moved, you know? And I feel like, obviously, some things I should be a little more moved by, you know? And I, I sh can work on being kind. To my friends, I say a lot of mean jokes. I can work <laughs> on more kind jokes, but... Um, but I do feel like that's a good thing because we, we shouldn't be moved by right. others' opinions. Right. Because others' opinions are going to go up and down. But can't, God's opinion stays the same. Exactly. You can't be too sensitive. You know, it's good to be sensitive and have emotions, but the world's yeah. tough sometimes, yeah. you know, and you, you have to have a little bit of thick sin sometimes. Amen. Amen. God loves you. We love you. Everybody, please go subscribe to Zach, okay? Um, I love him so much. He's such a help and blessing. And he's an amazing guy. So go subscribe to him. I'm going to put his YouTube down below. It, it's completely free. I'll see you guys Wednesdays, Sundays, Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you want to hear God's voice or learn more about salvation or learn how to pray in tongues, those videos are on the description below. Description below. Love you guys. <laughs> see Bye. You guys. <laughs>